Continuing our series of uh, interviews with the head men's soccer coaches in the Patriot League, on with us now the head coach at the College of the Holy Cross, Ted Priestley. Coach, appreciate you taking a few minutes of your time. Thank you very much. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Uh, entering your third season at uh, Holy Cross up in Worcester, and uh, your first couple of seasons uh, haven't made the Patriot League tournament, but now that you've uh, entered your third year and you look back on those first two seasons, uh, can you pinpoint any one thing or any uh, couple of things that, as you think back, are, are some things that you want to see your, your, your team improve on on a game-in and game-out basis that uh, you feel is going to help your team uh, improve its chances to get into that top four and make the Patriot League tournament this season? Sure. Yeah. Ultimately, ultimately, uh, I, I think that the biggest things that we'd like to see is, you know, just an improvement in our results. Uh, but I think that the focus just on the results isn't going to get that uh, done. I, I think that we're going to need to continuously focus on the, you know, the small details that add up to the big picture, and uh, just focus on the process, and hopefully the product take, take, takes care of itself. Uh, one thing is that I noticed and was struck by as I was going over uh, your roster and doing a little research for our interview is uh, on your uh, defense. You have a lot of senior leadership that's coming back. Uh, this season, obviously, offensively, you're, you're not going to have Kyle Miller. He graduated, but you do have a lot of leadership and, and uh, experience on the back line with uh, players like Jordan Michael and Joe Whitaker and Vincent Garofalo. Uh, talk about what that group of seniors brings to your club, especially on the defensive side of things. Sure, sure. Well, as we know, uh, with any graduating class, there's a leadership void that's created, and uh, you hope each year that uh, that your your rising seniors will be able to to step into that 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 void and uh, and hopefully create something uh, of their own identity. And uh, and they've all done that to a man. Our seniors uh, have have really stepped in and 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 have. You know, just just not missed a beat at all in in terms of getting our guys focused, getting our guys uh, you know setting the right example in terms of the way that they've prepared themselves, the way that they've conditioned themselves, the work that we put in in the off season, uh, they, they've been remarkable. Uh, but also with the way that uh, that we train every day, uh, they they know that we want uh, to get as much as we possibly can out of every single day, and uh, and, and they've set that example for our younger players. Uh, you know, Jordan is is one of our captains along with Pat McCann, uh, and 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 I think. Jordan's really, you know, led both locally and by example, uh, but also you know, Joey Curran and, and, and Vinny Garofalo and, 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 and Tony Rosales have just really stepped in and, and, and given us you know, the, the type of example that we'd like to point at in a, in a senior class and in a successful senior class as well. Uh, how do you classify yourself in terms of your your philosophy? Are you a coach that prefers to see a, a little bit more of a, a wide open offensive style, or are you somebody who kind of favors more of a of a defensive style, defense first, or or maybe the third option, more of a balanced approach? If if you could classify yourself with your with your strategy and what you like to see your team play in terms of its its uh, tactics out on the field, is there any way that you can kind of classify uh, your philosophy? Sure. Uh, I'd, I'd like to think that we have a, a winning philosophy, uh, first and foremost. Uh, but beyond that, uh, you know, I, I, I do like to play good soccer. I like to, you know, hopefully, you know, we're, we're promoting the game of soccer. It's, it's a fantastic one when it's played well. I, I like to, uh, to create the game, make the game, as opposed to just, you know, being a team that breaks the game. And uh, I think that uh, we're positive in our approach uh, to the way that we play, to the way that we train, the way that we develop our players and our team and our program. Uh, and it's it's an attractive style that uh, that hopefully you know, players are looking to you know to, to be a part of. Uh, but that said, you know, we, we we can't just throw the, the kitchen sink forward. You know, we need to be responsible in our approach and a bit more balanced in terms of you know the way that we uh, you know commit numbers forward. And hopefully we're a, a good team in transition that that's able to you know again balance you know the way that we want to play with with again keeping a clean sheet uh, you know and, and making sure the goals don't go in. Um, you know, to our own net. So, you know, I, I love to attack. I love to play uh, and, and you know, use the ball well. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I think our, our players are generally, you know, fit, willing to do the work, uh, you know, uh, willing to, you know, to, to pay the price, you know, in, in, in you know, the, the physical elements of the game, but also that, you know, that's not all that we're about. You know, we like to play and we like to play well. Uh, now that you're in your third season at Holy Cross and third year coaching in the Patriot League, uh, what are some of the observations that you've come back with, uh, some of the, the, the things that you've observed and, and some of your thoughts, and maybe uh, how 
maybe your line of thinking about the Patriot League has either been reinforced or changed uh, because before you came to Holy Cross, you coached in Division Two, so you were kind of an, an outsider in that respect from the Patriot League. So what are some of the things that you've observed uh, as, uh, as a coach now entering your third season in the Patriot League about the league itself? Sure. No. Well, I, you know, yes, I, I, I certainly was at UMass Lowell for 12 years, uh, and it wasn't in the same division or in the same league. But uh, but we played Holy Cross every year, and uh, you know, from from that experience, you know, I had, I had a good idea of what to expect. Also, you know, having seen the coaches around the league, uh, you know, at, at various recruiting uh, you know, tournaments, having seen their their teams play both in person and, and you know, and on television. That was just always, you know, it wasn't too far away. So I, I knew what, what the league was, and I also I think I have a pretty good idea of, of what it's becoming. And uh, I, I think that we're a, a league on the rise. I think that the, the quality of, of players and, and, and coaches and programs is, is outstanding and, and facilities uh, around the league. Uh, you know, it, it, it's really encouraging, you know, again, to promote the game of soccer in a, in a positive light. Um, you know, it's it's you know it's 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 a league that you know it, it's uh, the parity in the league is remarkable, and I think that that's a strength. Uh, there, there's not a, a single easy game, uh, and, and I think that that's a positive thing. Uh, we've always got to bring our best game uh, every single game, and uh, I, I think that our players understand that. But also, you know, hopefully, everybody in the league understands that as well. And um, you know, it, it's it's it's. I think it's a fantastic soccer league and, uh, and, and one that, uh, again, it's, it's a league on the rise. I was struck by uh, the comparison, uh, just the way the schedule was structured from last year to this year, last season. Played a lot of games away from home early, uh, didn't actually play a home match. Uh, at Smith Stadium until October when you played Harvard, at least during the regular season. Uh, and then this year, you have three straight home games to start the season before you uh, leave Worcester for the first time. Um, tell me about your coaching philosophy uh, in terms of scheduling. I, I'm looking at some of your non-league games that you have coming up. Uh, probably you know two that's, that jump out at me are, are Brown and Providence, which are obviously uh, great uh, regional rivals, uh, both finishing in the top 25 final coaches poll last season. Uh, but then also, too, you have BU, URI, uh, and then you have a, a tournament coming up where you'll be playing Temple and uh, George Mason. So uh, tell me a little bit about your philosophy when it comes to scheduling your, your non-conference matches. Sure. Well, I, I think that you, you show a lot about your, yourself and your program and, 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 you know, what your direction as a program is, you know, by the teams that you're willing to schedule. And uh, we, we prefer to challenge ourselves, uh, take ourselves outside of a, a comfort zone and obviously, uh, you know, play some you know, some teams that are hopefully going to bring out the best in us. Uh, but also from, you know, from, from whom you know, we, can, we can learn a great deal. Uh, I, I do believe that we can get the results that we want. Uh, but in so doing, I think that our players will gain a tremendous amount of of, of understanding and uh, a tremendous amount of uh, you know just just high quality competition, so that uh, that we're prepared uh, to hopefully uh, do some serious damage in the Patriot League. And, and once hopefully, if if we are you know, fortunate enough to uh, you know, to win the Patriot League and you get in the national tournament. Now all of a sudden it's much less daunting when you've already faced a, a great number of these teams in the regular season and preseason and then, uh, in the exhibitions as well. Uh, I, I, I do prefer to, to challenge our players and challenge our, our, ourselves, uh, and, uh, and hopefully that's going to pay off in the long run. Ted Priestley is the head men's soccer coach at the College of the Holy Cross coming up on his third season in Worcester in 2011. Coach, we appreciate you taking the time once again. Thank you so much, and we'll speak to you again down the road. It's my pleasure. Thanks very much.